operation uh, is okay. This is okay. Uh, this data mainly uh, uh, selected according to the effect of uh, mobile use on a student's academic result, health condition, social relationship, psychological stress. All of them are collected by uh, Google form and it can be questionnaires form. Uh, in the next segment, uh, data pre processing segment, uh, it's a process that uh, pre phase of processing data set. Who the authors have collected more than 500 surveys to predict the final exam result. Uh, the data pre processing is considered to be one of the most important part of the research in this field. After that, we organize data, and it's a process where we organize data before uh, to you know, before modeling this data. Uh, so, for organizing data, the authors have tested and trained the data and set them into two folders. The authors have also validation folder to check train the data validation in data organizing. After that, uh, we level that data because it's too much important for us to know the features we have extracted from our uh, data set. So we level it and with uh, level encoder with Python. After that, it's data storing. Where data can be stored is called data store, as we know. So we have to store data. Uh, here we store all the data in Google Drive because it's more easier. In Google Drive, we can use this online stored data. The project have have the older CSV files. The advantage of Google Drive that cannot be lost. Uh, after that, we show an a statistical analysis which is called uh, as one two and the student amount 31, 39, which means uh, one semester student amount will be thirty one. Below, uh, same as down below, like 11, 12, uh, 11 semester student amount is 41 and 12 semester student amount is 53. That's how we did uh, statistical analysis here. After that, we did experimental analysis, uh, results and analysis. You can say here the attendance marks. The students perform their attendance marks as there we can see the most students got their attendance marks about to 3.72 from 4.15. Is the most uh, average result from students. So in the quiz, it was about to 15 marks, and most of the students got their uh, quiz marks from 10.8 to 12 mark. Is the average mark every student can got. After that, midterm marks. Midterm is all about to uh, out of 25 marks, and it will be always 15 to 74. 17.4 uh, was always when a student gained mark. Uh, after that. Uh, maximum student results semester wise, it can be shown here 3.1 and 5.2, which means uh, most active students can find here from 3 to 5th semester, 3rd to 5th semester exactly. After that, you can show here CGP, SGPA. Uh, after, an, after a semester completed, a student got their SGP and it will be always 3.05 to 3.26, which is the most. Uh, valuable and most um, available result from a student and university student list. And you here you can see 54 students got their mark about to 3.05 to 3.26. After that, you come here to CGPA and CGPA, which is about to 3.16 to 3.37, it always predicted from machine learning approaches. After that, we did a confusion matrix to know the true positive or true uh, negative result. So here you can see the two positive results is about 19 and two uh, false negative result is about 34. Uh, in the end of this paper, this is the issue of modernization and this is too much rivalry among the purpose of this school system. Uh, in the technical area, large data control complicated challenge and the SGP or CGP protection is really beneficial for the student benefit. So that's all from me now. Thank you.